Once upon a time, there was only one sun. The sun helped the crops grow and thrive. However, the sky god's sons were evil and came out to wreak havoc. The nine suns occupied the whole world and never gave the moon any time to shine. The suns decided to work together to destroy the surface of the earth and make it unfit for any life. All living creatures suffered miserably under the severe heat. It's been so long since I could start some fires. You can say that again. Let's get ready to kill everyone. We shall conquer everything. Look at those pitiful humans running away from the inevitable. Let's have a wonderful Sunday barbecue. Your screams only fuel my lust for blood. Let's attack now while they are dispersed and panicked. Stop it, what are you doing? Someone please, stop the suns. The entire village is burning and the panicked emperor was looking for someone to stop the suns. So, when Ho Yi, an archer known for his good aim, volunteered for the job, the emperor became very joyous. I will stop you and restore balance. You have no chance, fool. A mere mortal cannot take us down. We'll see about that. We've destroyed everything you care for. Go home now. I don't think so. He wasn't kidding. Dying really hurts. Oh, what are you tricking? He's nothing but a delusional fool. Ooh. I don't want to die. <laughs> I am the master of your fate. I control your existence. You will fear. Ow. <laughs> uh, this shall be your grave. Ow. <laughs> the others have only gotten in my way. I will take you down myself. Ow. No. Your life is a cosmic joke compared to mine. <laughs> As Ho Yi takes down each son one by one, he finally comes face to face with the last son. He spared the last son to make sure the crops are grown and that the world is not one eternal darkness. Please, please don't kill me. I haven't done anything wrong. You will help the crops grow and thrive. You will give warmth to the cold, and you will ensure that you will never set on our emperor's empire. Uh, I'll do it. Please just spare me. I will uphold my end of the bargain. I hope you will uphold yours. Thank you for saving our place. I must reward you. Oh no, it's fine. You mustn't go through the trouble. Aha! I found them. Here I present to you the immortality pills. I will give you two, one for you and one for your wife. Each of you must consume one of the pills, and voila, you will live forever. Make sure to not eat both of them, or else, <clears throat> or else you will be banished from this earth. Why? Oh, thank you so much. Ho Yi receives a reward from the emperor and returns home to his wife, greeting his apprentice who is walking out of their home. Hello, Peng Meng. How are you today? Hello, Ho Yi, sir. What has you so happy today? I have been given a gift from the emperor today. His apprentice, startled by Ho Yi's sudden lack of formality, sticks by to try to overhear what got him so eager, and overhears Ho Yi talking to his wife about the immortality pills. The emperor has blessed me with these two immortality pills for my good deed. With this, we shall be happy and live forever. Be careful, though. None of us may take both, because the powers of both pills will be too strong. Ho Yi leaves the pills with his wife, to get firewood, as the apprentice slips in. Ha 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 ha. I thought my master suffered from insanity before, but now it's true. Give them to me, and I won't have to kill you. Never, if you want them, then take them. Just hand them over. You and I both know I will overpower you. If I can't have them, then you won't have them either. 
In a burst of panic, Chang'e consumes the pills, forgetting what Ho Yi told her about eating both of them. Chang'e! Chang'e! Ho Yi! Ho Yi! Chang'e flies to the moon, just as Ho Yi returns from gathering firewood. That day, when Chang'e rose to the moon, the moon was very round. That day was the mid-autumn day of the lunar calendar. For that reason, today's moon festival is also called the mid-autumn festival. Today, to remember Chang'e, and to show how family values are the most important, people lay out mooncakes to remember Chang'e. The end.